Hi, my name is Moses Borjas, and I'm a pastor here in El Paso, Texas, and the name of our church is called Living Covenant Church. How did I get involved with the Cast and Range movement? It was very interesting. Five years ago, um, you know, uh, Dr. Maite Arce came down to El Paso, and I got to meet her, and we talked about cast and arrange that day with another team from Frontera Land Alliance, which is a, a local team that works for the protection of cast and range. And at that moment, it was just the, it, I guess the, the first steps to see how Hispanic access would get involved with this project. And one of the things that I've, I've known about Hispanic Access Foundation is just their desire to work with uh, communities, comunidades, especially with the comunidad hispana, with the Hispanic community. And this has been uh, one of the journeys that I am so blessed to be part of with Hispanic Access Foundation as, you know, a support. Um, and, you know, I know that this year has been a year that we've seen a lot of progress. We've seen a lot of uh, you know, attention to cast and range like never before. In El Paso, being that we are over 75% Hispanic, you know, we are so blessed that we have uh, these mountains behind us. We are so blessed to have all these benefits of the Chihuahuan Desert here in El Paso. At the same time, uh, I know for a fact that many times a lot of the Latino communities are, you know, um, I would say they're not looked at as a very important community. I know that a lot of the Latino communities have been put on the background and said, well, maybe next year, maybe next year, maybe next year. But the time is now. Being invited uh, to the Pentagon, being invited to a round table with Secretary Halland, uh, also having the opportunity to interview Congresswoman Escobar here in El Paso and other opportunities that are coming about. It makes me feel very responsible. It also makes me very excited to know that we are impacting, that our voices are being heard. It just brings joy to my heart to know that that something is going to happen. And today as we've been sitting with many of our uh, leaders and, and, and government leaders in our country, it makes us understand that not only does it bring joy, but it, it brings a sense of responsibility and said, you know, we got to keep moving forward. We cannot give up and we need to keep pressing on. We need to keep moving forward until it happens, until that day that our, our president signs off and says, you know, Castner Range will become a national monument. That's our aim. That's our goal.